But Republican candidates for president met for a crackling debate in Florida tonight, and Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman took center stage. It really isn't that tough if you try. It's easy to turn around this economy, just have the backbone to do it. Unlike the last debate, Bachman got aggressive tonight, taking tough this shots at Texas Governor Rick Perry. Pat Kessler is here tonight. Quite a difference from the last time, huh, Pat? Yeah, it sure was, Amelia. This was an official Tea Party debate, and for Bachman, it was clearly a home game. Very friendly. A lot of questions about Bachman in recent weeks fading in the polls while Texas Governor Rick Perry is rising. Tonight, though, it was Bachman who did the Texas two-step on Perry. Congresswoman Bachman, what about you? Like a prize fight, the raucous audience cheered every political punt. Then we can do it. Perry may have been worried about Mitt Romney, but it was Bachman who gave him all he could handle. And this is just flat out wrong. Bachman went after Perry hard for a governor's order forcing young girls to get vaccines against cervical cancer. And to have innocent little 12 year old girls be forced to have a government injection through an executive order is just flat out wrong. Perry admitted that 2007 mistake, not that he forced the vaccine, but that he did not go to the legislature first. You, you may criticize me about the way that I went about it, but at the end of the day, I am always going to err on the side of life. But Bachman wasn't finished, accusing Perry of ordering vaccines because he's in the pocket of pharmaceutical company Cronies. The drug company gave thousands of dollars in political donations to the governor, and this is just flat out wrong. And it was a $5,000 contribution that I had received from them. I raised about $30 million. And if you're saying that I can be bought for $5,000, I'm offended. I'm, a, I'm offended for all the little girls and the parents that didn't have a choice. That's what I'm offended for. Well, some tough stuff tonight. After tonight's debate, Bachman still wouldn't let up. Amelia, she said she's still not satisfied with Perry's answers. This is stuff I think we're going to hear for a while. Yeah, it sounds like it. Now, Pat, Bachman is in the middle of the fight for president, and former Governor Pawlenty is out, right. but he still found a way to make news today. Yeah, he did. Governor Pawlenty's endorsing Mitt Romney for president, bypassing that fellow Minnesotan Michelle Bachman with whom he has little in common. Pawlenty making the endorsement in Florida this morning Congress ahead of the GOP debate saying Romney has a kind of business background the country needs to turn the economy around. And in case you're wondering, Amelia, and many are, Pawlenty said again today he's not interested in being Romney's vice president. We'll see about that in about a yeah. year. We will. Right. All right, Pat, thank you. Yep.